The Trump hush money case is the first of four criminal cases to move to trial. Former President Donald Trump was charged with 34 counts of falsifying records in the first degree. But Trump is not the only one involved. Michael Cohen will likely be the star witness in the hush money case. He was Donald Trump's Thank lawyer you. and fixer. And on August 21st, 2018, he pled guilty to eight counts in Manhattan federal court. And Cohen alleged in a court of law, Donald Trump directed him to make illegal payments to influence the 2016 election, which Trump denies. I did it at the direction of and for the benefit of Donald J. Trump. Cohen was sentenced to three years in prison. Cohen alleges he orchestrated payoffs to two women who said they had affairs with Donald Trump, including Stormy Daniels. He says he sought reimbursement from Trump and even recorded one of their conversations about it. The FBI sees that tape during a raid on Cohen's residence and office. Cohen's attorney released it to the media. Adult film actress Stormy Daniels, also known as Stephanie Clifford, says she met Donald Trump in 2006 at a celebrity golf tournament when he was the host of The Apprentice. Who loves The Apprentice? Stormy says they had sex that night and he offered to cast her in The Apprentice, which Trump denies. In 2011, the story leaked. Stormy says she gave an interview to a tabloid magazine for $15,000. It remained unpublished until 2018, but two years earlier, when Donald Trump was running for president, a tape from Access Hollywood... We're ready, let's go. ...leaked, which prosecutors say caused panic within the Trump campaign. Two weeks later, Stormy Daniels was paid $130,000 by Trump's attorney, Michael Cohen. Karen McDougal is an ex-Playboy model and says she had an affair with Donald Trump. They allegedly met in 2006 at the Playboy Mansion, and she says they dated for nearly a year. Donald Trump denies they had a relationship. In 2016, when Donald Trump received the Republican nomination, McDougal's story leaked. AMI, the owner of the National Enquirer, offered her $150,000. They wanted to squash a story. Michael Cohen says he orchestrated the deal for AMI to buy McDougal's story, but never publish it to help Trump in the 2016 election. Allegations, Trump denies. Alan Weisselberg was the Trump Organization's chief financial officer. He was mentioned several times in Michael Cohen's recording as being a part of the hush money plot. And I've spoken to Alan Weisselberg about how to set the whole thing up. In July of 2021, Alan Weisselberg and the Trump Corporation were indicted for scheming to defraud tax authorities at the federal, state and local level. He was sentenced to five months in prison and agreed to plead guilty and be a witness against the Trump Organization. They're looking to squeeze him again still to possibly get to Donald Trump. On March 4th, 2024, Alan Weisselberg pled guilty to perjury and lying under oath in the Trump civil fraud case, a deal that sends him back to prison but does not require him to testify in the hush money case. He's not been charged in that case. He's currently serving five months in prison. Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg and his team are the prosecutors in the trial. Bragg is a Harvard-educated Democrat and former assistant attorney general of New York. On December 6, 2022, D.A. Bragg secured the conviction of the Trump Corporation and the Payroll Corporation for conspiracy, criminal tax fraud, and falsifying business records. The focus in the last 24 hours has been almost exclusively on Trump. Then on March 30th, 2023, Donald Trump was indicted by D.A. Alvin Bragg in a Manhattan court. Days later, he was arraigned. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.